welcome to another episode of my channel. Today we are in the big NYC. Sophia is wearing this shirt. She thinks it's very trendy. It's kind of revealing, actually, at this angle specifically. I'm going to avert the attention away. You're just demonetized immediately. I'm demonetized sorry. Demonetized. I came the first in to second. be like in Washington. I know, yeah. Or something. But then I realized I started looking in the viewfinder. I was like, my boobs are too out. Completely inappropriate. And I don't um, even have any, but they're just making themselves known. They are. Yeah, what is there is making themselves known. <laughs> but anyway, so we are in NYC today. We have a big day of adventures planned for you guys. I'm really excited. Sophia, are you really excited? I'm very excited. We've I'm trying to find you. In the, there you are. Guys, I'm not good. We have a little microphone muff right there, so I can't see sometimes where Sophia is. I'm excited. We are actually going back to like thrift store shopping. Yeah. And then we're going to go stop by this place that sells cookie dough like as ice cream. Like, not cookie dough ice cream. Like they literally sell cookie dough. I'm, I think I'm explaining it right here. They're all like lined up just like yeah. you would have your ice cream. You go in, you just scoop one up, you grab one. I'm pumped about it. We're going to be walking around. New York is a beautiful city and it's a beautiful day out, I think. Oh, we haven't been outside yet. It's, we haven't been outside it's actually. It's already the afternoon. I was trying to, I was trying to sell the video. So we're in my sister's apartment. We don't have Krusty, but we do have Taz, who is my sister's dog. And Taz has usually got a lot of energy, but uh, he kind of, he kind of hurt his paw the other day because he was running around too much, and so now he's like a little bit mopey. He is an Australian Shepherd, and so he likes to herd things, including like soccer balls, tennis balls. We're gonna let Taz rest up his little paw. It's not this paw. It's the paw he's hiding. So anyway, what's he going? Okay, so we are going thrift store shopping. Again. Cue the uh, Macklemore music. You guys yeah. can probably guess directionally where we're going um, with the video. Directionally, yeah. Yep. Which, which type of video you we're working on right now. You can probably guess what video it is, but we're very excited about it. So we're going to a uh, thrift store called Buffalo Exchange, and it's going to be like 10 blocks north and then yes. like one block left. I'm looking for a few different things. Looking for some Rachel Green inspired outfits. And also looking for like a power suit. Like a 90s, like Ally McBeal power suit. You think you can find a power suit in there? Maybe. I'm aroused. I feel like maybe this thrift store is like too modern. It's you come up a little mean? dry, yeah. I thought it was just gonna, we're gonna walk in and 90 stuff was gonna be everywhere, but it's a little bit harder. So we're gonna check a couple more thrift stores, I think. Before that, we gotta get some food because I'm starving. I'm hungry too. Okay, so there's this place, it's a, it's a sandwich making chain that I started eating in Chicago when I was a teenager, just a wee teen. And they don't have it in California, but they right. do have it in New York. Every time that we like travel back east, I'm like, we need to get pot bellies every day. We've already gone to pot bellies once while in New York, yes. which was like just yesterday. So we went we've yesterday. We've only been here for one day. And we're gonna go today as well. Yes. Um, but we haven't eaten anything all day. No. It's the right time to go to pot bellies. It's the right time. So excited about it. Yes. Pot belly is right there. We're right here. We just went. How you feeling? I see it in my hair. You sneeze in your hair. How? Yeah. I've... We have two other thrift stores we're gonna try to hit. Yeah. Two more stores. Let's go. Energized pot bellies. Walk in. So we are at Hamlet's Village. Vintage. We are at Hamlet's Vintage. Let's see if they have anything good for this video. So let's go in, right? Are you double fisting my drink right now? You handed it to me. I did. Yeah. Okay, taking a look around, there are some awesome, like, 70s, 60s outfits in here. Maybe even, like, longer ago, honestly. So it seems like the first used clothing store was a little too contemporary. This one might be a little too vintage. We're Goldilocks in right now. You think I could pull that off? I think you kind of could, actually. Is there anything cuter slash sillier than, like, the way that a Corgi's little booty shakes when it walks? Oh, Ty. You could like get some of these like light wash jeans and like dress up like Ross. He's got like a solid color like button down shirt or sweater. You want me to dress and like Ross? And these like light wash jeans. We were watching a lot of Friends lately and Sophia was like, you know, Ross is pretty strapping. He's tall, dark, and handsome. Soft gets it. He's got something going on. She I likes paleontologists. All right, so those were the thrift stores. Honestly, like. I'm okay that we didn't really like find anything we were looking for. Obviously, I would love to have just walked in and been like, this is the perfect exactly. thing. Exactly, yeah. But I do feel like we have, just from seeing what's out there, a better idea of exactly what Totally, yeah. So I can almost go online and search exactly what I want because I saw the stuff that was here and I was like, not this. We are gonna go now to this 
cookie dough place that I mean, serves it like it. ice cream. I think somebody we saw yesterday had a bag of it, and I was curious, I'm excited, so let's get there, let's try this out. I think I'm just about ready to eat something more after that big lunch, yeah. so cookie dough sounds right. Can you see the rainbow? You can. Oh, that's a pretty darn good rainbow. I know the ice cream place is around here ice somewhere. Ice cream, oh, oh. oh. Cookie, cookie dough. I know the cookie dough place is around here somewhere. It's close. I just it? want like a big bite of it. Like one mouthful. Yeah. They should sell them in mouthfuls. Okay, so we got to Dough, which is the name of the cookie dough place. It looks there good. There is a giant line. The line is Very literally long. across the street. Yes. And we asked um, the people who work here, and they said that the line right now is about an hour and 10 minutes long. Very long. But usually if you come a bit later, like closer to closing, right. it's better. Yes. So we are gonna go run a couple more errands, and then we're gonna try and come back like right before they close. We're gonna be the last person in. Yeah, that's, that's the I goal. Want. Exactly. Okay, we need a quick pit stop snack. We're getting dollar pizza. I mean, I feel like it's pretty quintessential in New York right now. I mean, we didn't get our cookie dough. We were gonna wait till later. So we need to hold ourselves over just a little bit. Mm hmm. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Oh, it's hot. You take such big bites. That's I why you take burn big your mouth. Oh, cool. It's got that Chuck E. Cheese pizza vibe to it. So this is what happened. We came back. It's about 30 minutes before they close. Yeah. And the line is still about an hour long, and so they're starting to cut it off. They just cut it off. Pretty much right in front of us. Too. Pretty much right in front of us. Yeah. So new plan because new plan. we're not gonna leave uh, New York without getting this cookie dough. Yeah. I mean, now that we basically we promised it to your parents, we promised it to the vlog. We, we have to do everybody. it. Exactly. So we are gonna come back right when it opens tomorrow at 10 a.m. Yes. So we're we're gonna be back in about uh, 12 hours. <laughs> and we're here. My bedhead attests to us being here first thing in the morning. Yes, they just opened. There's no line on this side of the street. Right. There's a short line actually outside of the restaurant yes. or store. So um, we're gonna go stand in that pretty small line and hopefully get some cookie dough. So are we next? There is an A health rating because it is cookie dough. I don't wanna get salmonella poisoning, so I'm there excited about that. Must be like half baked. You know yeah. what I mean? They must do so. Or maybe there's no eggs in it. Yeah, I'm starting the day right. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go in. Is it ready? Let's do this. Right. Let's do this. <laughs> you look so tired. I just still, like don't know like what flavors I want because it's just like such a different world. It's like you're gonna have a just giant glob of cookie dough. I think I just want chocolate chip. Now oh, we're getting one of these from my mom. It was heavily requested. Sugar cookie. There's doggy ones in here. You wanna grab a doggy one? Should we? Should we get a cookie just to see how they taste? Yes, yes please. please. We've got one scoop of chocolate chip, which is for me, and then one scoop of unicorn. Hold on, let me focus on that. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got our cookie dough. I actually just saw a girl walk right out of the store and then drop her cookie dough on the ground, and I feel so bad. But she had two scoops on a cone, so her top scoop fell, her bottom scoop's still there. Yes. All right, Saf, you wanna go in for the first bite? Yes. Take a look at that. And you have not tried any of it yet? No, I haven't. It's cookie dough. Is it good? Yeah, it's cookie dough. The crunch! Oh, that's good. It is cookie dough, but it's a little bit smoother. It's like a little bit more edible. Like sometimes you eat your cookie dough and it's a little bit like more solid. This oh, has grainy, a little bit of a mean? creamier take to it. Like, I kinda wanna try yours. You wanna try mine? Yeah, sure. A little crunch in there? Mmm. 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 I like yours better. I think it would have been worth the wait if we had the time to wait for it yesterday. But uh, this morning was the perfect time to go. They just snuck in there. And I think Taz is going to like his dog cookie dough too. We are back here. Taz, I, I presume, is feeling just a little bit better. We're going to see if Taz likes this doggy dough, which has a little treat on top of it. Actually, let's start off with that, do you think? Just to win his favors a little bit. Here you go, buddy. Oh, does he like it? Does he? Oh, well, he ate it. No! Uh -oh. oh, he ate, oh, he ate it. it. He ate it. Okay. Oh, he ate it. Okay. So, are you going to spoon it out to him? How? Can he eat from a spoon? Let's see. I think he doesn't know how to eat it. No, okay. he's confused a little bit. He gets oh, he, he, he took oh, it. Oh, yeah. He took it. He did take it. Okay, so Taz kind of likes it. 
I, he doesn't seem voracious about it. Yeah. He seems accepting of it. Okay, guys, that was our day in New York. If you like this video, hit that like button, or you can gently tap, or you could smash that like button down below. <laughs> You could smash it. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to be notified every single time that we post, hit that bell icon down below. You could smash all three. You could gently tap all three. You could do whatever. Sorry, so you could just smash my arm a little bit so you saw the camera bounce. That was what it was. Also, check out my next beat. We do a lot of Q and A's and daily vlogging there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. We'll let we'll let Taz boop us out. Taz. Taz. Boop. Oh, that was a good boop. Yeah. <laughs>